There's nobody here. This is reality. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of Inominat. You found Inominat's book, right, Lafayette? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. It's empty. No surprise there. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it. This was your room, wasn't it? You can knit? I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how as a thank you for giving her my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. Check out all these complicated looking books. A hand-drawn map! Nice. It's incomplete, but seems quite detailed. It's beautiful. My brother drew it every day. Even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, He'd stare at that map for hours. Laffy said he... he wanted to travel the world? Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't it? Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break for such resolve. If you weren't a Therian, I'd be tempted to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorius's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul, who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission! Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... You didn't! Be patient. You'll know everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect order, as tranquil and beautiful as a wildflower in bloom. A perfect order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. What's it doing there? 
Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. Lafay made a copy of the book. He transcribed it all by hand, and then he sold it just to buy me that comb. There was something here for us after all. Lafay. If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Inominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. All right. Time to drop off the pups and get Grimoire to translate this book. We're going back to Titania. That horned monster. He was with Melchior. There was something different about him. He wasn't a Moloch, though, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a demon. He could be a Therian, maybe. I mean, there was Medissa and Kamoana. No, I don't think so. The Abbey keeps their Therians behind barriers and bound to Earth Pulse points. A Therian can't send malevolence to Inominat while walking freely. That's correct. And besides, Orthrus was already here. In any case, now we know Melchior has a mean-looking bodyguard in addition to his illusions. That'll take quite a lot to stop him. Aye. That's a fact. Eleanor, there's something I have to ask. What is it? Did you leak our plans to the Abbey? Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I found the truth for myself. I'm not up to any tricks. Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Magilu. No tricks. <laughs> I don't even know what a trick is. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. All right. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. So you trust me then? No. I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries, I'll be ready for it. <sighs> oh, such a brave, determined soul. <laughs> Listen, Eleanor really isn't spying on us. I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Lafayette. We understand, Lafayette. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guilt would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The... Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Lafayette always near. <sighs> now that that's settled, it's time for you all to testify to my innocence. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. 
Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Helleviz? Oh! Why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> she really wouldn't. Hey, that's not what I meant! You were mean! <laughs> Welcome back. Did you find the Therian? Yeah. We're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs? On my ship? You're not a dog person. I was... Uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. Devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? But, I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I have to... Velvet! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have vengeance. Velvet! Done. The art is attuned to you. 
Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. I've got to say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. <sighs> I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. There's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian! Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him! You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up! So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. How so? It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania, and allowed the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist and are to return your Moloch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong Moloch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. This is all over. I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. How can you talk of that right now? Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar. Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. Velvet, you've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. 
Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. <sighs> Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows, you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true, food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Okay, Fee. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse point. I found one, but it's really, really far. Way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah, I think the Earth Pulse point's probably out there. And Gand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters, so a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh-huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo! You guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorias could still be killed. That means she must have known everything. But why did she betray Artorias? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. Aw, oh, come on! It's fine! No, it's not. You have to do it right. You're so mean, Medissa! Fine. Hate me then. So long as you do what I say. Fine! Oh, I love you, Medissa, and you don't even care! Uh, what's going on here? Eleanor! Medissa's being mean! She keeps telling me to dry my hair after my bath, but I don't wanna! What? Is that all you're arguing about? This is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she can't catch a cold. But I won't! I won't catch a cold! I swear! 
I don't want to take Mom's yucky, awful medicine, so I'm not gonna get sick. If you insist on being so stubborn, we can do this the hard way. There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Yeah, what she said. <sighs> I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. But look, I get it. You mean, what happened to her mother? Yeah, Lafayette told me about it. My, my, look who's a little tattletale. I'm sorry, but I thought Medissa should know, just in case. It's fine, I suppose. I should have told her myself. Well, at least I understand everything now. Yes, and the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? I have to. For her own sake. For her, huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families and their mothers should be there for. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and Piffle, everybody in their issues, am I right? <laughs>